Today we're talking about density curves, which are useful in AP statistics to find the probability of a certain of a variable having a certain value or the probability of some event occurring. These are some nice facts about density curves, but all you really need to know is that the area under the curve is equal to 1 because legitimate values only for probability only range from 0 to 1, and that on the y-axis it describes relative frequency or cumulative relative frequency. How do we find the er the probability of some event occurring or some value? Simple. We simply need to find the area under the curve. Now, I know this is a scary thing to do in calculus, but in AP statistics, they make it really easy for you because they give you nice, small, easy shapes. So let's try it. We want to find the probability of the random variable x having a value of 2 or less, right? So look, if we want to find the area under the curve from 0 to 2, because 0 to 2 are all the values less than or equal to 2, in this case, we notice that we need to find this area around here. And look, oh, it's a triangle, right? Well, we can easily find the area of a triangle. All we need to do is multiply the base times the height and divide it by 2. Well, the base is going to be a length of 2, right? Because it runs from 0 to 2. And the height is going to equal 0.25. Why is that? Because the vertical side of the triangle runs from 0 to 0.25. And doing, you know, the basic formula of a triangle, base times height divided by 2, and we get an area of 0.25, which means the probability of the random variable x having a value of 0 to 0, from 0 anywhere to 2, is going to be 0.25 or 25%. Now, a trick question AP Statistics teacher like to tell you is, what, what is the probability of x just equaling a certain value? It's like just equaling 2, right? Just equaling 2. Well, the trick is, whenever you see the equal sign, all you need to know is that it's a trap, quoting Adder Admirable, Ad Admirable, Admiral Akbar's, it, it's a trap, right? If you see just an equal sign for a continuous distribution like a density curve, it's a trick. It's not going to happen. It's going to be zero. There's no val other value beside it in AP statistics you're going to worry about. So remember, if you see the pro if it's a continuous distribution like a density curve, and you want to, they say to find the probability of the variable, simply equaling a single value, it's a trap, it's going to be zero. So let's try a harder example now. Let's say we want to find the probability of the random variable having a value of anywhere from 0.5 to 1.5, right? And I've highlighted that area. We have 0 0.5, 1.5, right? Now we see this isn't a very easy shape to find the area of, so we're going to split it up. Aha, now we have a rectangle, which is very easy to find the area of, and a trapezoid, which is slightly harder. So let's start by finding, if we want to find the probability from 0 0.5 to 1.5, we can just add up the individual areas of the shapes. So let's start with the rectangle. It ranges from 0.5 to 1. So it's going to have a base of 0.5 and a height of 0.25. Why is that? because it ranges from 0 to 0.25 on the vertical, and it ranges from 0.5 to 1, which is a length or a, a difference of 0.5. And for a rectangle, we simply multiply base times height, and we get the area, 0.125. Now, what about the trapezoid? Well, and now we're going to have to find the sum of the bases, and our bases are going to be vertical sides. So here's a base, and here's a base. And what are the lengths here? Well, this one ranges from 0 to 0 0.375, so that's going to have a length 0.375. And this one ranges from 0 to 0.25, so that's going to have a length a base of 0.25. And our height is actually going to be on the x-axis, or how wide it stretches. And that stretches from 1 to 1.5, because that's our endpoint, which is, again, a length of only 0.5. So we have our two bases and height, so now we can just use the formula for the area of a trapezoid. First, sum of the bases, 0.25 and 0.375, divided by 2, which is essentially multiplying by 0.5, times the height, which is on the x-axis, of 0.5, the height, and we, all we do is we multiply that all together, and we get 0.15625. And if we want to find the total area, we can just add the individual areas together. And what do we get? 0.28125, which means the probability of the random variable x having a value of 0.5 to 1.5 is going to be 0.28125, or 28.15%. Next time, I'll talk about unique density curves and how annoying they can be.